my god the next is right from dictation i think i'm not confident what is going to happen let me see let me just listen to it food is any substance consumed to provide nutritional support for an organism i'm not able to remember this my man why do they give this much lengthy sentence can't they give a smaller one i all i heard was food the substance into three words do you also have the same problem um in the exam you are actually very scared that the next module going to be right from dictation and you are not really confident and as a result you are listening and writing score always goes down okay what i should do if you ask me this question i would say today in this video i promise you by the end of this video you will have some clarity on how to score more in right from dictation because i'm going to unveil all the premium all the real tips i'm going to talk about reality and help you understand how to improve that scores hey everybody nakul here from skills pd academy i really hope everybody is doing fantastic well today i'm back with at another video easy tricks for right from dictation for a 90 Uh, a lot of students commented after i recently made a video on repeat sentence pt repeat sentence that i want or we want right from dictation similar video so here i am sharing you every tip possible to help you improve your right from dictation score so let me just share my screen so right from dictation contributes around 40 to 45 marks towards your listening and writing because it's listening skill and then writing skill writing in the sense spelling it's not just essay essay hardly will contribute 15 mark come you know in combination with summarized written text but this is the module that contributes humongous amount of marks towards your listening and writing well talk about the problems we assume we have not the real problems i'm telling you this is not the real problem this is the problem we have assumed that we have the very first problem the only problem all my students um talk about is my memory is limited i have a very limited memory if the audio length is 5 words 6 7 8 is also possible i can try and go to that extent but if it goes above it i don't think i can do it because my memory is limited boss there are some people who are gifted with memory 15 16 words they do i cannot do what i can do please tell me my memory is limited my memory is limited my memory is limited i'm actually bored of listening to this because your memory is not limited your approach is wrong the way you're storing the data <clears throat> in your memory is actually wrong that's the reason you are finding that problem to be very dominant your memory is not limited everyone's memory is almost the same five or four to five slots working memory will be available so there are three things short term memory long term memory working memory short term memory is which you remember for a short term duration of time long term memory on that childhood day during my birthday what happened i remember working memory at the present you're working on something say i'm talking right now because in the working memory i am loading those words quickly so this is the working memory this working memory usually 4 to 5 or 6 slots will be there which you can pour the data and it will not be 13 14 slots so can you really fill the 13 14 words in it actually no actually no so the, there is a process for that which i'm going to unveil in this video um these are the real problems the previous one that i talked about was a fake problem I repeat a fake problem you don't have that problem but uh, but you assume that you have that problem the real problem is this your approach is wrong the way you're storing the data in your memory is completely wrong as a result you feel that i don't have enough memory my memory slot is limited i have memory problem all those things will arise actually you don't this is the problem second is you hate learning spellings i don't like learning correct i love shortcuts i hate learning spelling so this is the problem because in right from dictation spelling matters the most and then you have the third one cannot understand the accent whatever they speak it's so hard for me to understand because they go in some different different tongue twister accent how do we problem how do we solve so these three are the real problems uh the second and third the Uh, solution is very obvious second is i hate learning spellings it then start loving to learn spellings that's the only way out in our registered course every day we have spellings spelling test we have separate spelling test as well so if you want 
to join the course i can join but no no call i want to do it myself then log into any spelling app start with it note down every wrong spellings that you do and revise them start and not like you know um, and like develop the passion towards the spelling that's what i uh, wanted to say develop the passion automatically spelling problem will be fixed most of the people don't have that passion to learn spellings we hate them isn't it so yes or no do comment leave a comment don't you hate learning spellings everyone because it's difficult so the next is i cannot understand the accent very simple you need to get used to the accent say i am a indian native speaker in the exam you may get an indian native speaker audio or you may also get a british accent australian accent american accent so start listening to them every day i will practice right from dictation thousand right from dictation will not improve your skills you're only listening and making mistakes listening and making mistakes and not able to write instead of doing thousand right from dictation do some 20 30 right from dictation a day that's enough the rest of the time you focus on watching a tv series english because that will help you listening to a podcast in the youtube type podcasts just first one increase the speed the setting option increase the speed to 1.5 or 1.2 1.3x and start doing things second and third problem will be solved it's a progression day by day day by day you can solve them but now let's talk about the real approach why my approach is wrong i'll tell you so let's say this is the audio uh, the economy of nation is gradually declining due to pressure from the neighboring countries 13 words are there so what people do the normal brute force way they try to listen and memorize i tell you this is a crime <laughs> in pd if you ask me because this will not get you to australia let me tell you the fact this is a crime crime in the sense this is something really bad people unknowingly are doing it the economy of nation the is a first word they listen to the word the and put that word in the first memory block let's say there are only six memory blocks available that means six words you can put but you're listening to the first word the will store in the first word first block economy will store in the second block of you listen it will go to the brain third block nation fourth block is fifth block gradually sixth block after that declining where is the space the very first block where you store the word the right there it will go and sit it's overwriting it has become all mix of things then due will go in the second blank two third blank pressure fourth blank and so on now you trying to write how will you write every data is all corrupted <laughs> data is corrupted you cannot write so this is the problem then how do we do it um very simple divide and conquer people who are from uh, engineering background would have studied this algorithm big problem don't try to solve at once because you can't let's accept the fact all you can do is a bigger problem you can divide them into smaller problems each the result of the smaller problems you combine becomes the result of a bigger problem divide and conquer it's like dividing a bigger sentence 13 word sentence i will divide it into three words three words three words three words understand this three understand this three understand this three understand this three and then give a complete meaning to the entire sentence for example here i've shown the economy of nation the first phrase what is happening to economy of nation is gradually declining why due to pressure pressure from where from the same country from the opposition from the neighboring countries so you have to divide them and understand hope you are getting it. so when you do this what happens you get four different pictures you don't get the economy of a nation no you get four different pictures first picture the economy of the nation okay something money related thing is gradually declining the graph is going down that picture first is money picture economy of the nation second is gradually declining that picture due to pressure from the neighboring due to pressure i get that picture of the pressuring from let's say the neighboring countries china and other countries so this picture i store economy the money picture declining because of the pressure from the country's flag so now if i want to write i remember this the picture of whatever i have stored and i just read the picture uh, the money is economy of the nation is the graph is like this is declining gradually because of the pressure due to the pressure from the government no from the neighboring countries so instead of storing 13 words all i did was 
I used only four slots. Which four slots everybody will have, I repeat, everybody at least will have four to five slots empty. Instead of show, storing the words or letters, you store the picture. In one picture, you put the data, you put the data. Compression. Correct. So this is the real approach. If you're not quite getting it, I'm going to show that in just a while. So three easy steps to fix the problem. The first is listen. I repeat, listen. Don't memorize. I have written memorize here. Understand. Understanding is dividing them into phrases and quickly write down two to three letters from each word. Nakul, can I write one one letter of each? See if it is working for you. You do it for myself and for most of my students. Sometimes they write one letter of each word and when they come back, they will not be able to decode what that letter stands for. We get confused. So I don't suggest that method. I suggest two, three letters. I'll very shortly show you the demo as well. Two, three letters from each word. Add extra words. What is this adding extra words? I'll talk about. Can I really add extra words? Yes, you can add extra words. I'll show you that. and proofread all the spellings and add extra spellings these three easy steps just remember any question you can solve out of these three easy steps the first step makes a huge difference and this is where people lack because this is difficult second and third entire internet you see add extra words proofread spellings that this people <laughs> revelation about it but first one they're quiet because it is difficult. <clears throat> we need to focus on the first one. Listen, understand and write down two, three letters of each word. Don't memorize. I repeat, do not memorize, do not memorize, do not memorize. Some question and answer before I take you to the demo as to how to do right from dictation. Is full stop mandatory? No. <laughs> I forgot to put a full stop. So I got 35 overall. Next attempt. I'll again try by putting a full stop. I may get 90 overall because my friend told so, my previous tutor told so. No, no, full stop is not required. We have already tested everything in the main exam. If you want to put, you put. Otherwise, you leave it. Comma mandatory, no. I repeat, this is a no. This is a no. Is capital letter required? First letter capital. Country name capital. A no man. Who is spreading all this lies? That spelling should be there. You know, apart from that, people talk about everything else. But the reality is that spelling should be there in small letter or capital letter. It doesn't matter. How many words can I add? As many as you can, man. You want to add 20, you add. Will not have any effect towards, will I lose marks to listening? If I add extra words, will I lose marks to writing? If I add extra words, no, you don't. But simply adding extra words will not give you mark. What gives you mark is this first step. Listen, understand, and quickly write down two, three letters from each word. This is most important and how many words can I add? You will not have a lot of time to add. Hardly one minute per question. So you can add seven to eight words. So I hope I have answered all the queries. So now we will take a small test. The test is for you and me both. I'll play a question. Um, I'll play an audio. You also do it at your end. I also do it at my end. Probably you can rewind the video and see how I'm doing it. I'm going to show you how exactly I do how I make sure to add extra words, what words I add, how I get a good mark. So total, the test is about five questions are there. Total 62 words are there. Nakul, I need 79 in listening and writing. I would need 55, not more than seven mistakes. Nakul, I just need 65. You can get 46. 46 is not more than 60 mistakes. All right. So. I would want this, I will help you as to how to count everything. For a 79, I need minimum 55. For a 65, I need minimum 46. All the questions are little lengthy. So let's take up the first question. Beginning in three, two, one, go. Ready. Food is any substance consumed to provide nutritional support for an organism. Food is any substance consumed to provide what nutritional support for an organism so this is what i wrote for this any substance consumed to provide provide what provide a pizza no provide uh, nutrition support for an organism so this is what 
I heard food is any substance consumed to what you are consuming the food to provide a nutritional support for an animal for an organism there are three phrases which I divided food is any substance consumed pay more attention that's the first phrase to provide nutritional support that's the second phrase for whom for whom organism now I add extra spellings and extra words so food is any substance any substances I'm adding singular plural consume I'm adding verb 1 verb 2 to provide I'm adding providing nutrition I'm adding nutritional support I'm adding supporting supports for an organism organisms so this is what I wrote so let's see the answers but in the end I'm gonna add e and the as well so this is what is it food so now how to evaluate you can evaluate yourself every word gives you one mark no penalty no negative marking you can write in any sequence yes I can write in any sequence you can add as many words as possible food food I get one mark is any substance is any substance spelling is correct I get four marks here consumed ed is there this will not get me marks but consumed this will get me marks to provide to provide nutritional this will not get you mark nutritional grammar is wrong all those things don't matter it's only that word has to be there tested nutritional support 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 is here for an organism for an organism I got 12 out of 12 leave a comment if you've got 12 out of 12 so how do we count first question write down the number of mistakes um, I got out of 12 I got 10 you write two mistakes second question I got zero mistake third question I got one mistake fourth question I got two mistakes fifth question I got three mistakes so now you count 2 plus 0 2 plus 1 3 plus 2 5 3 8 mistakes will be your total mistakes so here if you see total is 62 62 minus 8 will be 54 will be your actual score this is the easiest way to note down first question I've got zero mistakes so we will quickly move on to the second question many think the best way to make foreigners understand is to be chatty and informal many think the best way to make foreigners understand is to be chatty and informal many think what the best way to make foreigners understand that's one phrase the best way to make foreigners understand is to be chatty and hey buddy how are you chatty and informal there are three phrases so many think the best way to make foreigner understand is to be understand see I'm telling you at the end of the day if you don't understand you cannot solve with any technique first is get a picture the best way to make someone a foreigner understand is to be friendly chatty and informal uh, to be chatty and informal so now I'm gonna add extra words. the best the many think the best many think that I'm gonna add the best way I'm gonna add ways to make foreigner foreigners either understand is to be chatty and informal um, I'm not finding any extra words to add many think that the best way to make foreigner understand is to be chatty and informal I think I've written everything so let's play the audio again many think the best way to make foreigners understand is to be chatty and informal many think you also verify many think the best way many think the best way to make to make foreigners is there this we don't foreigners will give me mark understand understand is to be is to be chatty and informal chatty and informal uh, do comment how much you have got and keep a track of the mistake second question how many mistakes you got keep a track of it so if you ask me how many right from dictation should I practice my answer would be it's not about practicing the number of right from dictations uh, well for 10 minutes 15 minutes you can do but what makes the most difference is fixing the approach so spend some time on yourself just sit blank understand why am I using just my memory and not trying to understand ask this thought put this question mark then you try to understand the audio get a picture 
automatically things will fall in place. Also start reading a novel because your visualization capacity improves when you start reading a novel. So this is Nakul signing off from Skills PT Academy. Anytime you need an online assistance, you can um, join us. We will definitely help you uh, in a right way and get you to the success path at the earliest. And to tell you, a lot of students on an everyday basis have got 90 overall. Uh, what are you waiting for? Anytime you need the course, you can join us. And don't forget to subscribe Skills PT channel and click on the bell icon in order not to miss any of the live updates. This is Nagul signing off very soon. I'll be back. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.